Hey mob, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, we are back with another hair tutorial. This video will be sponsored by All Love Hair. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. The hair that I will be showing you guys today is a deep wave 13 by four lace front. It is 24 inches and it is Brazilian hair with a transparent lace. So you guys can see I'm acting a fool. <laughs> but if you guys wanna see how I got this look, then just continue to watch. So when you receive the hair, it's gonna come in this beautiful pink box. On the back of the box is actually going to have instructions on how to care for the hair. Inside of the box, you're going to have this little pamphlet, which is actually going to give you some additional giveaway gifts and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. Here is the wig. Um, I'm going to show you guys the inside of the wig. It does have the adjustable straps on the bottom. Like I said, it is a 13 by four deep wave Brazilian hair lace front wig, and the lace is transparent, which you can actually tell. The lace front does look like it is a little bit pre-plucked for you as well, so yeah. So you guys already know I'm going to go ahead and bleach the knots. Being that it is a transparent lace, it shouldn't be that hard to bleach them, just to let you know. So um, I will have all the products that I use in the description box down below. And I believe I left it on for about like 30, 35 minutes. So now it's time to install. So of course, the first thing that I'm going to do is measure the wig to my head. Be careful because the part was not in the middle after I rewashed the wig. So just be careful because, you know, some of us strictly go for, you know, like the middle parts or whatever. And the wig was not even. So just be careful when you're doing that. Make sure that you're going by, you know, the lace itself and then you can fix the part afterwards. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use my even adhesive spray. This is a spray that I have been using for a couple of weeks now i want to say and i actually do prefer the spray over glue over got to be glue spray so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and spray that on my forehead and um i do use the blow dryer on cool to help it dry down a little bit more and make it tacky and then i go ahead and install the lace so i'm gonna do this around you know my head and then i'm going to uh cut off the lace as close to the hairline as i can Now, just so you guys know, being that I personally like to cut my lace as close to the hairline as possible, being that I still actually have to pluck it, there were some parts that, you know, came undone, which is, you know, that's fine by me. All you have to do is just respray it, reinstall it, and then I go ahead and melt it with the elastic band. A few of these clips, you will see that, like, my forehead was kind of, like, getting white, like, especially the areas where I was spraying the adhesive spray. All you have to do is just take, like, a warm cloth or a warm paper towel, whatever you like to use, and just wipe it off. <laughs> it's that simple. So, I already started plucking this side, so I wanted to show you guys the difference. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just parting where I would normally like take enough hair for baby hairs, and then I'm plucking the hairline itself. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch because it's a lot easier to watch rather than explain it. But one thing I will say though is I feel like plucking the hairline while the wig is on your head is actually a little bit better than plucking it on the wig cap because I've been doing it on the whip cap forever. And I realized that like I'm always getting to a point where I'm plucking a little bit too much hair. When the wig is already on my head, I know exactly how much I need to pluck off. So that's just a little tip, you know, for you guys. And if you guys are having issues when it comes to plucking the lace fronts, install the wig first on your head and then pluck it. And it'll make a difference. You'll realize that you're not going to be plucking out as much hair. You're not going to be over plucking. And you're, you'll just be taking out as much hair as you need. So yeah. All right, so I am finished with plucking and what I like to do is like I just pull it down and make sure that it's like okay if I was to cut here and you know cut these hairs for baby hairs how will the hairline look that's what I go off of so as long as I'm comfortable with that then I'm like okay I can stop plucking and as you guys can see once I go in with my hot comb 
the hairline looks bomb besides you know the little white residue which I'm going to clean up later <laughs> but I just let it melt actually I cleaned it up and then I let it melt and then after I took off the elastic band that's how it looked so it looked great and you guys know I always go in with my wax stick just to make sure there's no additional hairs in the way no flyaways or anything like that so now I'm just cutting the baby hairs you guys know this is my my least favorite part because I suck <laughs> when it comes to baby hairs it never fails it takes me forever because I'm so picky as to how I want them to look like it can't be too much it can't be too little it got to be just enough then I got to make sure it's covering the lace like yeah so normally what I do is I I spray the edge brush with water and I do the little swoop de whoop and then when I'm comfortable then I'll go ahead and I'll set it with you know some edge booster or whatever so yeah so now I'm just doing one of my favorite styles which is kind of like the two flat twist in the front being that this is a 13 by 4 you got to be careful as to how far back you know you part and stuff like that so that you don't see any of the tracks but whenever I do this cute little style on 13 by 4 it's, it just works out perfectly just so you guys know to um, get the curls to pop all I used was water and some mousse and the mousse that I use is called mousse death by uh, the do and I will have that link in the description box for you that's all I used on this hair the hair didn't really need much the curls popped with just the water alone so yeah so I'm just going to let you guys watch the rest of the clip and then I will come back towards the end. guys so that is pretty much it for the hair tutorial pretty simple pretty easy um as you can see i didn't pluck the frontal until i actually had the wig on my head and i think that's going to be my method from now on just to avoid over plucking and it actually wasn't too bad to do because the wig already came pre-plucked the only thing that i would say is that the hairline even though it came pretty plucked i feel like it was thicker on this side versus this side i'm not too sure why it could have just been me it could have been just because the hair was drying up i'm not too sure but it just seemed like it took a little bit more plucking on this side for me to get it exactly the way I want it but other than that that's literally the only critique that I had the hair has minor shedding and doesn't have anything major that could be because from bleaching the knots and stuff like that because the lace is pretty transparent which I already told you guys when it comes to transparent lace and stuff like that and you re-bleach it it could cause some shedding and then on top of that this is curly hair so remember on the back of the box it does have instructions as to how to care for the hair so if you know you don't normally do curly wigs and stuff like that I would highly recommend that you pay attention to that because when when it comes to curly hair it is absolutely best to detangle it when it's wet if you're a natural you already know it's the same thing <laughs> but yeah as far as the style that I did in my hair as you guys can see it's pretty simple I love doing these little like flat twists in my hair whenever I have curly wigs on I don't know why I feel like it just makes me look like I'm back in high school again for some reason so I don't know but I just think it's really cute <laughs> but as always you guys already know I will have all of the information listed in the description box down below I want to thank all of hair again for sponsoring this video I highly appreciate it you guys guys know I love me some curly hair poo and I need it in all lengths okay period <laughs> but yeah like I said if you're interested I will have all the information listed in the description box down below if you didn't hit that subscribe button please make sure you hit that big red subscribe button make sure you give this video a very big thumbs up before you click off that will be it for today I love you guys and I will see you next time bye